Hun, are you okay? I don't know. You just keep staring at that woman and her baby over there. It's getting kind of weird. <laughs> Wait, what? You wonder what it would be like to change places with the baby for a while? To escape your adult life? I can't say I've ever thought that way, but I suppose there'd be no more responsibilities, no angry boss, no bills to pay, no cleaning or laundry. Everything would be done for you. Someone else making all the grown-up decisions. When to get up, what to wear, what to eat. Oh, that even make meals for you. You wouldn't even need to worry about going to the bathroom. You just go wherever you are, and a caring adult will come and clean you up. Then when you're tired, you can take a nap. Honestly, it'd be the ideal vacation. I mean, I can see the allure of getting away from our daily stress, but you have a habit of thinking someone else's life is better than it seems. I mean, I'm sure babies have their own set of problems and they're helpless to resolve them. Why else would they cry all the time? <laughs> so in all seriousness, stop dreaming about switching lives with an athlete, a billionaire, <laughs> or a baby. There's probably a dark side to all of their lives too. Just focus on your own life and how you can make it better. Ugh, all right. Think what you will but your view on things really drives me up the wall sometimes. It's simply not the way things really are. Hey babe, welcome home. Imagine, a four-day weekend. No, don't start. I don't want to hear about all the tasks you have to do this weekend. In fact, put away that long list of chores because I have something special planned for you. Remember that day when you were daydreaming about switching places with that baby? Well, that's exactly what you're getting for the next 100 hours. <laughs> no, of course you can't really switch bodies, but from now until Monday night, I'm gonna treat you exactly like that toddler you were so jealous of. I'll care for you just like any other mommy. Dressing, feeding putting you down for that precious nap, and making every single decision so that you don't have to anymore. There's only one catch. You have to see this through for the entire time. So if the life of a baby isn't quite the heavenly escape you imagined, you still have to stay a baby until the time is up. Do we have a deal? Good. Let's shake on it. Now follow me. The first step is a bath. Uh-uh, hands down. Remember, you don't lift a finger until I allow you to grow up again. Now let me lower you into the water. And close your eyes as I get you all clean. With every stroke of the washcloth and every cup of warm water, you relax and regress. I need to wash away all of your adulthood and let it flow down the drain. You're now a young, helpless little girl with only mommy between you and the big bad world. Mommy's here to care for you. Just relax. Good baby. Now crawl over to your room so that we can get you ready for bed. Isn't this the most adorable nursery you've ever seen? It used to be my partner's library, full of grown-up books, maps, all that sort of thing. But now look at it with the pretty crib and the mobile with baby bears, the change table, the little balloons on the wall. So cute. Up, up. We need to get a diaper on you before you leave a puddle in the carpet, Missy. Let's see. Mommy gets to choose. So I think it's going to be this pink and yellow one with the little diaper pins. And two, no three, stuffers to make sure baby is well protected. Oh, 
There we go. Now, let's put you down in your crib and you can fall asleep while you nurse from this bottle of formula. Oh, what a face. It really is icky. But that's what baby needs to drink every hour to make sure you grow up big and strong. I'll be back for the 2 a.m. feeding. Now go to sleep, little one. We have a busy day tomorrow. Nana invited us over for the barbecue with my sisters and some of their girlfriends. Of course I told them about you. <laughs> I mean, they laughed pretty hard at first because, well, yeah, my girlfriend is now acting like a baby. But, surprisingly, they kind of took to the idea. And they're actually really looking forward to having a baby girl at the cookout. They said that they'd make sure that you experience what a true toddler does. Whatever that means. Okay, night-night. Hey, Mom. Hey, everyone. Oh, thanks. She's a little grumpy because she didn't like her breakfast and her bottom is a little sore from sleeping in a pea-soaked diaper. Isn't that right, Bubba? <laughs> no, go ahead. They have to get used to anyone over the age of five checking to see if they need a changing. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'll go and say hi to the others. Well, look at you, little one. Mom, you must have been up all night making that romper. It is so adorable with the little lambs. What's with the pacifier? Oh, dear. Children should not use such words. A spanking and a mouth soaping was more than justified. How many cloth diapers did you put on her? Well, at least they should last a while without leaking. All right, honey. It's time to go with Kate. She's going to give you a bottle in your playpen over there. Hey, ladies. Oh, it's great to see you again. You didn't know that I have a new baby? Oh, thank you. Sure, you can hold them. What's that face for, baby? You don't like peekaboo? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pee you, baby. No, the diapers and plastic panties should contain it all. But I understand if you want to hand her back. Actually, lunch is just about to be served. She can just sit in the playpen while we eat and I'll change her later. Did my little baby have a good first day? One more bottle of that yummy formula and then it's in the crib with you. It's almost eight o'clock. All right, let's see. Oh, just a little damp. I think you can last until morning. And then we have three more days left. That's enough time for the zoo, the park. And then you can watch cartoons while mommy does all the grown-up stuff. Then Sunday night, that nice lady that changed her dirty diaper is coming over to babysit. Mommy's going out to dinner. I'm sure she'll read you picture books and play blocks and maybe you can have a tea party. You know, maybe four days isn't long enough of a vacation for you. I'll call your work and arrange for you to have the whole next week off. Mwah. 